All right, so I'm Jake Douglas. I'm a CrossFit athlete. I'm a dad, I'm a gym owner, I'm a coach. Alright guys, what's up? I'm Jake Douglas. Welcome to a day in the life as I get ready for Down Under CrossFit Champs. Let's go! Alright, so we're going to hit some, uh, some conditioning this morning, but we're going to start with 10 by 4 parallel strict handstand push-ups. So that's just like, for me, instead of using a barbell for strength, my gymnastics is kind of a weaker movement, so I tend to put some gymnastics stuff in there for strength and I'll see if I can just get nice and deep with it. And then uh, the six sets, this first piece is just like trying to challenge the grip a little bit, trying to turn it into a little bit more aerobic and like consistent um, rounds. So hopefully it's like four-ish minutes on or five minutes on and like two minutes rest. Uh, and then we're probably gonna finish the morning with this, like a couple of little sprints. We'll just pick a buddy and go work, rest. Um, some squat snatches and some ring muscle ups. This is kind of here because we're fatiguing like um, grip, shoulders, upper body here. Uh, I just want to try and hit some of this stuff under fatigue. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. So like I was always like a rugby player, rugby union. Yeah, I just thought that was probably where my career path was going to go. And all through that, I like was always into the gym and stuff. And I just had a school teacher who kind of introduced me into CrossFit and showed me what it was. And I picked up some of the movements all right and realized I was pretty strong. So then I just did CrossFit for strength and conditioning for a couple of years and really enjoyed it. And yeah, man, it just kind of like evolved from there. So uh, this workout, to recap it, kilometer on the bike eh? it's not really there for a biking capacity it's more about um a bit of a pre-fatigue into what's to come then there's 15 pull-ups 10 hang power cleans at 70 kilo five shoulder overhead and 100 dubs two minutes rest do it six times so there's like quite an amount of volume on it but for me it's all about trying to like work on my grip endurance through the pull-ups and the hang powers when i first rode it i was like oh, it'll be okay now I'm starting to think that's going to be pretty bad, you know, so we'll see, a bit nervous. Fortunately, I subluxed my elbow two weeks before I actually got to represent. So that was kind of a setback and then couldn't really do anything weightlifting or CrossFit related. So I went back and played a little bit of footy just till I rehab my elbow and I, uh, I ruptured my ACL at the at that time so i was kind of like you know maybe in july i was uh i was hitting some crossfit sanctionals i just hit the heaviest clean and jerking crossfit um i was about to make my australian debut and then in the space of about a month i subluxed my elbow tore my acl needed surgery looked like i was going to be over a year out with just uh rehabbing the knee and the elbow so i kind of thought my um thought my CrossFit career was over as soon as it started, you know. I guess I sort of took my time and watched some people compete and figured, no, I'll just give it one more go and, you know, I tried again and I tore my knee up again, uh, entered a weightlifting competition. But in 2020, it might have been. Tore my knee up again, literally on my first snatch and had to go for another surgery. So I did that. At that moment, I realized how badly I actually wanted to compete in CrossFit and I wanted to go well. So yeah, I just kind of made the full commitment that I wasn't gonna gonna compete in Olympic weightlifting anymore. And I was just gonna focus on CrossFit and see see what happened if I if I tried to not be as strong, but try to get well-rounded, I guess. So kind of strapped myself in and, and fully committed to this CrossFit thing. And yeah, I made the, made the CrossFit games the year after that, which was everything I'd worked for, you know, like I'd been competing in the space since 2018 with all those injuries and setbacks and kind of made it all worthwhile to actually make the games led us into uh down under which uh, again I, I kind of felt like i was just getting established at that next level of competition and my fitness was coming along and then i uh i sprained my si joint in november or december at competing at the down under crossfit champs so then i pulled out of that i only competed in the first event i hurt my back in the first event now i spent a couple of months rehabbing i tweaked my back again in february but it was way worse than what it was in december like so bad i couldn't touch my knee yeah and that's uh that kind of brings us to 
where we're at now i've had some time to rest and recover and my back's actually in a really good position and we've changed a lot of things and yeah i'm really excited to actually step back on the competition floor healthy for the first time in a year hey. that's the morning done Alright. Alright, right, morning done. We'll go get a coffee, get Ella coffee. She's the one who deserves it the most. Go see the kids, have some lunch. Get back in the gym, baby. Guys, so we're back at my house, having some lunch, hanging with the kids. You want to taste this? Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen you excited for a comp for a while. Yeah. Like, you're pretty pumped for Down Under. Yeah. It'll be fun to see you compete. I know, I suppose, with a little bit less pressure. Yeah. And just out of pain. Just, I'm just, so, like, so thankful to be out of pain. And it's just made me enjoy everything so much more. And as I said, like, at, at Torian, I, I thought I was done. Like, I thought I was going to have to retire because I was in so much pain. And just now... Oh, it's like a weight off my shoulders, man. It's crazy. You don't necessarily do it for them because it was something that I did before uh, I had my kids, right? But at the same time as when, when I'm in it and I'm going through it, you remember kind of what the kids are sacrificing and what my wife's sacrificing and all that stuff. And that, that's certainly what helps me for sure. The kids might miss out on a party when it's close to a competition or Ella misses out on, on a social event when I'm deep in a training or we don't get that Sunday morning sleep in because I'm training. And those are certainly all things that I think back on um, as training gets tough and the, as the hard days do pile on, it's like, I'm, it's not just me sacrificing, it's everyone in the family dynamic that sacrifices for me to do it. But it's a funny thing when it's greater than you, I feel like you can push just that little bit more. Push him on the swing? Okay, ready? Look out. Whee! Whee! Go away. <laughs> oh, nearly. Oh! <laughs> ah. See you, kids. You're going to come See you, by kids. You're going to wave bye to daddy at the window? Bye. We're going to go wave bye to daddy. Peanuts. Give me your peanuts. Bye, love you. Bye. That happens every time. It's hard not to feel appreciated. I can distinctly remember growing up and feeling like I was at a disadvantage. I think that that just put a massive chip on my shoulder and it was like, you know, you can't, just because I'm from here doesn't mean I can't do something. And that's like, I think that's been a big driver for me. You know, like I, I had to move to the city to go chase my footy and all that kind of stuff. And I guess now I'm in this career and most of the, the bigger names or, or the more, I guess, successful people were all in training camps and they were all around the city areas. When I was coming through, I didn't have access to any of that. And I just really remember leaning on the fact of like, well, I might not have the competitors, but I've got my, like, I, I can show what we can do from the country. It's not as big of a disadvantage, you know, it's not an excuse to not make it. You just need to work harder. And I genuinely believe, yeah, maybe being from the country, you need to work a little bit harder, but that's not a bad thing. Whoa. All right, guys, so we're back in the gym. We're going to hit our second session now, and it's going to be like a longer workout. Um, we've got a whole bunch of movements in there. Like, We've got a, uh, a 900 1K ski, so 900 for the girls, 1K for the guys. Then we're going to hit three rounds of double dumbbell bench press, calorie on the echo bike, toe to bar and handstand walk. That's really like the meat of the workout. The ski, either end of it, is just to have like some pre-fatigue going into it and then hopefully you've got a final push on the way out when your shoulders are completely fatigued. Most of this stuff here is just to try and make these handstand walks really hard. Like this whole workout for me is, is about the handstand walk. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a really tough work, but very specific in making the handstand walks as hard as possible, so we'll see how we go. Alright, ready, ready? How long the time cap? How long does everyone need? 
60 minutes, done. You got 60 minutes on the clock. Light bulb moment of like, I felt like it was just a matter of time until I was going to make it because I wasn't going to stop. And if you can have that mentality, especially in this sport of just continuing to show up, you're going to have bad workouts, you're going to have good workout. Yeah, you just need to back yourself. And when times get really tough, just keep showing up. Yeah, so this one for me is genuinely about enjoyment. Being injured and in pain for 12 months is just, it's not fun. You're restricted and showing up to a competition knowing that it's not your 100%, that's all really hard. I had moments of, where is, is this me? Am I, am I always gonna be in pain? Am I retired or whatever? Whereas now I just, my body feels good and I just wanna get out there and enjoy it. And, I, and I'm lucky enough to do it with one of my good buddies where we're in the elite pairs and just to be able to go out and, and, and have fun and smile. Genuinely love CrossFit. I love competing. It, for the first time in a long time, I'm not in pain and this competition isn't about a placing. It's just about me going out there, expressing my fitness, showing how hard I've been working, just enjoying it, you know? such a seamless partnership like it was so easy from the get-go and um the fact that i get along with andy and ben so well like that's really cool and for me like the wildlife is an iconic australian brand within our space so when the opportunity came up it was like hell yes it's a brand that i've been behind and always looked at from the very first day i started crossfit or or found out what crossfit was so yeah like i i feel privileged to be able to you know be an ambassador for them and, and partner with these kinds of things and try and help them with their brand because they're obviously helping me with my brand as well and I just feel like especially the fact that I'm Australian it just makes so much sense for me to to be with them and I feel like our values align so well so I think if I had to use it, say one word it would be privileged like I feel privileged that I get to align with with the wildlife dig in dig in come on all the way there so when it's at nine not before come on Denny come on Denny lean into it lean into it lean into it come on as much as it can hurt as much as it can hurt right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Two more pulls. Two more pulls. One, 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 one. One more, one more, one more. Good girl. All right, guys, that's a wrap on our Saturday. Thanks to the wildlife for making this happen. Hope you enjoyed coming in, checking out, hanging out with us. Hope I gave you a little bit of uh, inspiration to go out there and get after some Metcons of your own. I hope to see you at Down Under soon.